starting this story off with the most weirdest one of them all starting with the youtube channel called verbal a famous cartoon youtube animator that does cartoon beatboxing and mainly for family friendly and use copyrighted characters like pikachu sonic mario and the legend of zelda but unfortunately something about verbale will be ex exposed from the internet Now, who is Verbalaze? He's basically the YouTube beatbox guy. Now deleted tweet, I believe was the first shot of the war. This was the first step towards this whole situation unfold. A couple of days ago, I talked about the situation with Verbalaze commissioning a $50,000 But then, it was a tweet, a strange tweet by some unknown user tweeting and i'd love to see him succeed in today's climate about verbale and we can see the character from has been hotel called charlie has been hotel is a famous youtuber animated series that sent all their characters into hell and there's a comedy series that is for the gripton animation the great characters and the beautiful animation and the musical and also the creator herself always getting into some twitter drama after that the full verbal aid video have been coming out uh, about charlie in the full video the full video is about charlie and this musical song lasting for three minutes trying to sexualize verbale is very cringe and very memeable stuff but the thing is why people are talking about this and how this affects verbale because he pay up to 50k not 1k 50k some animators don't even get that much money to do animation but 50k for free minute animation and some cringy sex sexual scene that doesn't even that don't even last for another 10 or 20 minutes and some animators can deal with a 20 minutes outcome with 50k is outrageous and bizarre and pretty funny and entertaining because Vermin Lane is kind of just a cringy meme beatboxing cartoon rapper and when this came out it's just more hilarious and put flame into the fire some other rumors came out that he hired a 15 year old to do this animation I'd love to see him succeed in today's climate. Well, guys, because of the U. Of war here, we're not really sure. Apparently, also a 15 year old allegedly animated this. I, I, I don't know if I believe that 100%. Because, like, the animation itself isn't poorly done, it's not bad, it's competent. I'd love to see and him to succeed in today's climate. Do this alone that's that's a high order i don't know if i believe that maybe someone young worked on it uh, and the thing is we don't know anything about the folks who like who's chase what's this watermark how many folks were involved in this what's this watermark how many folks were involved in this was it one two or was it a larger production But this is some rumors of some, probably some haters that hate Vermele or want to put flames to the fire with no proof. After the hit back, we kind of find out that Vermele make a video that he was running out of money. But funny enough to this day, Vermele used the 50k for his other secret means. Vermele responded with a video explaining why and why he's sorry. Human being, uh, just because I'm an influencer doesn't mean I'm not going to make mistakes. Uh, but I am taking this whole experience to learn from it and grow from it. 
uh, I'm not going to take it as somebody going to be defeated. Like, why would you let an experience defeat you? You should let it make you grow as a person. And that's what I'm going to do. From now on, instead of focusing on our natural I'd love to see him succeed in today's climate. It actually was started in 2021 by a company called Cough or something. And it was finished in 2022. I was tinkering with the notion back then of making a separate YouTube channel that was intended for a more mature, older audience. So when the video was completed in 2022, I made a separate YouTube channel, marked the video as not made for kids. You have to be 18 or older and up to watch it for obvious reasons. I think the video was even unlisted. After it was up for a while, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this because I still want to focus on the other stuff. So I deleted the video and deleted the channel. Um, little did I know, somebody saw the video and downloaded it and re-uploaded it and made it public on my birthday and decided to tag me in the video. But again, this video was intended for a mature audience and I wanted to just like put some different type of content out there separate from my YouTube channel. Videos out there, judge how you will, but I'm still gonna be making cartoon beatbox battles. Battles. The video just came off like he killed someone. Only he just have to say I make a cringy video, but he here we go about Buddhism or I'm like wait, I'm I'm a Buddhist. I believe everybody should be at peace with each other. Instead of forgiveness or something like that, like he killed someone. He explains that he was working for this YouTube company. I wanted to come out with the video, Charlie chasing him, but he didn't want to upload it because it didn't feel appropriate for his brand. But wasting 50k and Charlie chasing him and dominating him in the bedroom and teasing him is funny to behold and must be the most embarrassing thing that can ever happen in internet. In internet.